So in the UK, we have a target, a net zero target to reach net zero by 2050. In Scotland, that's 2045. So that essentially means uh, balancing out our emissions of carbon or greenhouse gases with the removal of greenhouse gases. In Scotland, we are going to raise the target by 2030 to 10 gigawatts of offshore marine renewables from currently one gigawatt. So really almost a 10 times increase in renewable uh, production of electricity by offshore winds. So that's a massive, massive target. We also have to address the real causes of the problems of carbon emissions. In Scotland, nearly a third of our emissions uh, from how we heat our homes and another third from transport. And we've really got to start to produce solutions to these problems as well. So how are meeting our net zero targets our, and the energy transition impacts on people is what we call a just transition. So it's about making sure that this massive change of, of decarbonizing our society actually doesn't already impact people who may not have the means to cope or, or who are poorer off or less better off. So how we actually plan that and deliver that is called the just transition. One big part of the energy transition is jobs. In terms of an energy city like Aberdeen, that's had a history in oil and gas and ensuring that the transition is just or fair and doesn't impact communities and workers, we actually need to really diversify the energy economy here. Some of these jobs will be within the oil and gas sector, such as carbon capture and storage, but also many of these jobs will be in new, green, perhaps distributed or diversified energy areas, energy technologies. It's about creating new jobs, both in the energy sector and more broadly across the green economy. And it's also supporting and growing in community engagement and things like community energy or community food growing and transport and all the things we need to do to be more sustainable and achieve our net zero targets by 2045. It's actually listening to communities and what communities want and actually placing what communities want as a central part of the broader discussion about how we change our energy systems and energy industries and energy society in Scotland. It's given communities the right tools to access the right information, case studies of where it's happening in other places. The Centre for Energy Transition, we have a lot of expertise across the board from, from engineering to, to law to geosciences to social sciences and geography so and economics. So we, we bring a real diverse set of, of academic interests to the debate because solving energy transition, whether it's a, an industrial problem or it's a community problem, actually involves lots of different parts of society. So the project that we have just launched, Leading from the Front, empowering northeast communities in, in a just transition, is about that issue. How do we grow the knowledge base? How do we actually produce tools that communities can use to pull together the capital and the knowledge and the finance to help them in the just transition.